Now to a fundraising frenzy as President Biden and Trump rake in tens of millions of dollars for their campaigns. This weekend, Trump is hoping to pad the GOP's war chest to keep pace with the Democrats' tri-president extravaganza at Radio City Music Hall that took in more than $25 million just in one night alone. So let's take a look at where things stand this morning. The RNC holding over $44.8 million in February and $93.1 million at the end of March. While the DNC has not yet disclosed their contributions from last month, they reported over $155 million cash in cash on hand at the end of February. Robert Sherman is in Palm Beach for us this morning, right across from Mar-a-Lago. Robert, good morning to you. Where does Trump stand in the race for all of this campaign cash? Uh, you just pointed out the numbers right there, Mark. He's certainly playing a game of catch up here as he tries to close the fundraising gap between him and President Biden. But News Nation has learned that at Saturday's highly anticipated fundraiser here in Palm Beach, his team is aiming to raise 43 million dollars with the top ticket going for over eight hundred thousand dollars as you pointed out last month was a big month of fundraising for the former president but if they hit their benchmark saturday not all of that money will be going to the campaign or rnc some of it will be going to a leadership pack to help pay mr trump's legal fees while president biden has the edge in cash on hand new battleground state polling averages show the former president is in a strong position. Numbers from Decision Desk HQ give him leads in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, and Wisconsin. Pennsylvania, the lone battleground state where you see President Biden currently holding an edge. In recent weeks, the two candidates have been on the trail using the same strategy, hammer the issues they're strongest on to rally support. And pollsters say that seems to be making the difference. We see Biden with advantages when it comes to health care, Medicare, Social Security, and abortion policy. However, Biden's advantages on those issues aren't as large as Trump's advantages on the border and uh, the economy. You look at those polling numbers, it's worth noting that four years ago to the day, President Biden was leading in the majority of those states. We're still seven months away from the election. That is an eternity in politics. But it is clear that the landscape does look different today compared to four years ago. Marky. Yeah, we'll see what kind of money uh, Trump rakes in this weekend. Robert, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.